Hi, in this video, I'm looking at this question here where we're calculating the surface area of this triangular prism. Now we know it's a triangular prism because it has a base side that's a triangle in shape. Now to calculate the surface area of a triangular prism, we have to work out what all the shapes are that are in it. And one of the things we can do that'll help us to draw a net. And I'm going to start with the net with this shape that the triangle prism is resting on here. So this bottom shape, which is a rectangle, and I'm just going to draw it down here. And we have this rectangle here and its short side, we're told is four centimeters. So we're going to label four centimeters and its long side doesn't have any direct labels on it. We've got the height of the prism or the length in this case, because it's lying down. Um, of 18 centimeters. So this long side is 18 centimeters. So that's our first part. We can then look at this triangle, which joins onto that rectangle I've just drawn. So I can draw a triangle coming off of it. And this triangle has a base of four centimeters, which we have written already down here. Uh, but it also has a height marked of 3.5 centimeters, so we can mark in that height of 3.5 centimeters. Now there's another one of these triangles at the back, and because this is the prism, they're going to, going to be exactly the same triangle. I haven't drawn them exactly the same because I'm not that good of a drawer, but we can draw them in as being the same triangle by putting on the dimensions. Now moving on, we've got this side rectangle that we can see here. So we can draw it on and it's 18 centimeters. So we draw it folding off down off the side here. So we've got a rectangle coming off here and it's 18 centimeters long. Uh, but we're told that its width is four centimeters. It's a bit hard to see over that because I've sort of scribbled a little bit over it too much. Um, but we've got this width here of four centimeters. So, oops, I accidentally got rid of my rectangle. So we've got 18 centimeters and we've got four centimeters. And then on the back side of it, on this far side, I've also got another rectangle, which also is four centimeters wide and 18 centimeters long. So I can draw it coming off the back side of my thing here. So that's our net. That would be what you would have to cut out if you wanted to make a triangular prism. You'd probably want to add on some tabs so you can join together, but that's the basic shape. So what we want to do is have a look and see what we've got. I've got two triangles that are both 3.5 centimeters tall. and I've got and four centimeters base. So I'm going to call this shape one, and this is also shape one. We could call shape one there. I'll put shape one here. We can work out the area of this triangle. Triangles are base times height divided by two. So we have a base of four times by a height of 3.5. So we have an area for our triangle, whoops, and divide by two. And we, so we have our area of our triangle to be seven centimeters squared. We can then look at our uh, rectangles. I've got my red one that I drew, which is 18 by four. I've got my green one, which I drew, which is 18 by four. And I've got my purple one, which I drew, which is also 18 by four. So I'm going to call all of these shape number two. And it sort of turns up three times. So I've got an 18 by four rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is length times width. So we're going to have 18 times four. And so the area of my rectangle here is 32 centimeters squared. So now I've got two triangles of area seven, three identical triangles of area two. And I want the total surface area which is all of the sides added up. 
So my surface area, as I said, I've got two of my triangles, so two lots of area, one. And I've got three lots of my rectangle, so I've got three lots of area, two. So if I go and work out, I'll put my numbers in, I've got two lots of seven, and I've got three lots of 32. So if I go to work out my surface area, that means this triangular prism has a surface area of 110 square centimeters. And that would be our answer. Now, there's no rule for this. I've covered a rule in previous videos for a rectangular prism, but there's no rule for a triangular prism. And that's because there is multiple different ways of having triangles. So there's no definitive rule. Because here I've got one where I've got an equilateral triangle up the front. So I've got three identical rectangles and th two identical triangles. But if I had, say, an equilateral triangle up the front, so maybe these two were the same and they were, say, four centimeters long, but this side here was different and it was, say, six centimeters long, um, and I had a height of that triangle. Let's just keep the 3.5 there for now. And if I drew that back to make a triangular prism, that means that I've got this front triangle, which is got a base of six and a height of 3.5. And I would have two of those because I got one at the front, one at the back. But I would have this rectangle here because it would be four because these two sides are the same. So I'd have a rectangle that was four by, let's make up a 10 for my length. And I would have two lots of those because I'd have that one on the top and I'd have this one down the back here. So I'd have two lots of those. But our base rectangle, this one down the very bottom, would be different because it's got a shorter side of six. So it would be a six by 10, but I've only got one of those. So I would work out this and I would work out this and I would work out this and my surface area would be two lots of the triangle plus two lots of one of the rectangles, this rectangle to be particular, plus one lot of that rectangle. So that would be a different rule. And I could even have a scalene triangle up the front. What if I had a triangle that was, say, three centimeters, four centimeters, five centimeters for a scalene triangle? And I drew it out to make a rectangular prism. And let's say that it was 20 centimeters long. So I would have my triangle at the front here still, and it would be three, four, five. I would need to have a height marking on there unless I knew how to work out the height of this triangle. So let's make it up to be 3.8 for a number. Might not be true, but it's just gonna do for this purposes. And I'd have two lots of those, one at the front, one at the back. And then I would have this rectangle, which is four on its shortest length by 20 on its longest. But this rectangle down the back, it would be slightly different because it's got a three on its shortest length. So it would be a three by 20. And then if I look at the bottom side, it's got five on its shortest length. So it would be a five by 20. So then if I went to work out the surface area of this, I would have two lots of the triangle plus one of the um, four by 20 rectangles plus one of the three by 20 rectangles and plus one of the five by 20 rectangles. So I would have three different rectangles being added on there that I would have to take into account. Still two triangles. So there could be three possible different options for a triangular prism that we've got to be careful about. There's an equilateral triangle, 
three same rectangles, two same triangles, isosceles triangle, two same rectangles, one different rectangle, same triangles, or a scalene triangle, two same triangles, but three different rectangles. So we have to work out all the faces separately, work out how many of each of the same do we have, and add them up, and that will give us our answer.